uh, a place which I did not know much about. It took me so much of time. But when I visited those hotels, the experience of living in each of them was very, very unique and uh, amazing. Like I still remember the image of those hotels in my mind. And that's when I decided that when I come back to India, I will work on aggregating a list of eco-friendly hotels which people would choose out from. And uh, the purpose behind it was that uh, we all want a perfect system, we want luxury, we want comfort, but without clean air and pure water, everything else is worthless. So the idea of uh, working on ecotourism was uh, to combine my passion towards travel and uh, adding the environmental aspect of it by making it more sustainable. That's interesting. Uh, Prerna, just to understand, what are the broad parameters that makes a hotel, a resort, eco-friendly? So it actually took me almost two years of uh, ground visits, visiting different sustainable hotels across the country. And since India is a very, uh, it has a very diverse geography. So a desert area would, a hotel in a desert area is will be very different from a hotel in a, in a dense forest. So uh, I came up with two common criteria which any hotel could fulfill except a few of them was that uh, the building of the hotel or the rooms should be made of local uh, material. So it could be mud, wood, bamboo, stone, but not concrete. And second was that at least 30% tree coverage should be maintained in the campus of these hotels because that's the basic minimum which any hotel could fulfill. And apart from them, we have many other sustainable measures which uh, the hotels fulfill uh, different from uh, one geography to another. And these are like uh, solar panels, uh, uh, rainwater harvesting, composting, waste management, and many others depending on their geography and availability. Okay, uh, tell us about the economics of sustainable tourism uh, from the perspective of businesses as well as the customers. How is it a good deal for them both? Uh, so uh, before COVID, like since I started my company almost in 2016 and we started uh, selling the hotels in 2019. So before COVID, it took me almost half an hour to convince like one customer and tell them what an eco-friendly hotel would look like because people had a lot of misconceptions. They uh, they used to think like uh, many would still think, but but they used to think that a mud house would be leaking because that's the image they have from their mud houses which are present in their villages. Uh, they used to think that uh, these sustainable hotels made out of local material may not have a western commode. It could be unhygienic. So these were the misconceptions which uh, many people had in their mind. But post COVID, there was a lot of change because people were stuck in their uh, houses for almost two years and then uh, they realized the value of nature they wanted to uh, choose alternative accommodations when they are traveling so the idea of homestays the idea of hotels which are eco-friendly the idea of boutique properties run by individuals became more prominent post covid and now at least we don't have to explain to people what these hotels look like and um, and that is why there is a lot of uh, uh, there is rise in revenue, there is rise in conversion rate of the customers who are choosing sustainable hotels and this is going to rise in future because we all know how climate change is affecting us. So, uh, and, and as there are more trees being cut, as the forests are being reduced, there is more demand for it because it is getting reduced. So, uh, so, so the demand for sustainable hotels is going to increase in future. Right. Prerna, also it's interesting uh, with Ecoplore how solo women travellers wet a certain hotel before it is listed on your site. How neglected had this aspect of uh, tourism in India been so far? So uh, being a women traveller myself, I think that yes. was the main reason which made me think about it. Uh, because uh, being a women traveler, traveling to multiple places on a solo basis, I realized the safety aspect myself. And there was one very important, like a very uh, uh, incident which I'll always remember. We went to a hotel to verify it uh, in Rishikesh. And we were like almost four women. We were all friends. Uh, we, 
went for a quality and also on the same basis we went to verify it. And there was a man sitting, he was the manager of the hotel and we asked him that how many um, employees do you have in your company and it was a chain of uh, hotels. He said we have almost 300 people and then we asked that how many women employees do you have. He said just one uh, who is the daughter of the owner of the hotel. Oh. And he was so proud to say that. I mean, that was the aspect which made me realize that we need to have more women in the industry and only then the uh, travel for women will become more safe. So then we started focusing on betting and visiting each of these hotels, especially by solo women, so that once a woman finds it safe and comfortable, I'm sure that a family or a male traveler would automatically find it safe. That's very interesting to learn. And just as you have stringent measures for hotels to be listed on Ecoplore, uh, do you also feel the need to sensitize the tourists so that they play their role in ensuring sustainable tourism? So uh, I think this question of uh, having responsible travelers and while we have good focus on the hotels is very important. Uh, because the idea of weekend getaways is becoming very popular. People travel for 500 kilometers just to spend a night and they party and they come back. So uh, slow travel is one aspect which I would like to highlight where earlier like we used to at least uh, uh, travel for a week or we used to visit our grandparents favorite place and we used to travel for 15 days, one month and there the carbon emission was less because there was lesser travel involved and uh, people used to spend time at a location. Uh, secondly, the idea of uh, going on a, on a travel and um, playing loud music and uh, just parting and coming back, this has also become uh, this has become very popular, especially by the uh, people living in metro cities. So I think here um, the hotel owners, like for example, a lot of hotels which we promote, they are particular about the kind of visitors they get. They actually speak to the uh, traveler or the visitor and try to understand what's the mindset, why they want to come. Yesterday only I was talking to a owner uh, of a hotel and he said that if they want to party then they should go and party at a restaurant we don't want them to party in, at a hotel and the, because the hotels are responsible they want responsible tourists also so i think uh, we need to sensitize the travelers while providing them a, a good comfortable hotel like we are focusing on providing a comfortable hotel to uh, tourists but at the same time we need to sensitize the tourists as well on that note, thank you very much, Prerna Manoj, for joining us on Changemakers and sharing your fascinating stories. Our best wishes to your teams. Thank you.